see. So things like distribution work, um, identities, identity elements work, like I said a second ago, a times one equals a, uh, a plus zero equals a, um, in any case, you get the idea. So, um, the most important thing as far as we're concerned about this is that matrix operations uh, also work the same way, or work as expected. So in order for matrix multiplication, for instance, matrix multiplication to work, that's the most critical one, uh, we need uh, multiplication and addition. So what uh, a linear block code does idea. In practice, what's going on is not very complicated. In order to define a linear block code, we have a generator matrix. Described over GF2, and all the operations involving them are described over GF2. So, um, the generator does this. Given Let G 
g be the following. So this is for a four three code. In other words, four output bits, four code bits, and three message bits. So basically we're taking three bits on the input and transforming them into four bits. Um, if I want to encode the message one zero one, I have three bits to play with. I want to encode the message one zero one. Multiply this by G. And what I get is, okay, so matrix multiplication here. Take this row, multiply by this column. The result is one times one plus zero times zero plus one times zero is one. One times zero, zero times one, one times zero is zero. One times zero, zero times zero, one times one is one. And one times one, zero times one, one times one, so I have one plus one, mod two is zero. So this would be the code word that you would transmit. Does anybody know what code this is implementing? Uh, a single bit parity check. Single bit parity check, exactly. So um, what we do, this you'll notice is the identity matrix. So in other words, um, Whatever message is here will be repeated here. So that's, those are the message bits. This is, well, what is, uh, what's the operation to form that last bit? It's take all of the message bits and multiply them, uh, multiply them by a string of one. In other words, basically take the sum over all of the m's. So this is the sum over m mod 2. What is that? If the sum over m mod 2 is 0, then there's an even number of 1's already, and this is 0, so the result will be an even number of 1. If the sum over m mod 2 is 1, then the, the number of 1's uh, here is odd, and we put another 1 here, so the total number of 1's is even. So this is a single parity check. or even parity. So it turns out that in order, uh, enforcing an even parity constraint such as this, um, that, uh, that is a type of linear block code. <coughs> As a bit of terminology, If G contains uh, an identity submatrix, then the message M is repeated in the code word. said to be systematic. I'm not sure why they call it systematic, but that's just the term they use. 